So as we prepare for the birth to five matters, it's so important that we understand some of the educators that have influenced this document. So one of these educators is Frederick Frobel. Um, he was born in 1838 and he was a German educator who was raised by his father who was a pastor. And he laid the foundations for modern education as it is today. He opened the very first kindergarten or garden for children. And originally this was his Play and Activity Institute. He established the idea that games and playing were typical and essential forms of life activities and so kindergarten reflected this in its education and therefore in the kindergartens they did activities such as singing, dancing, gardening and they also did lots of self-directed play. And Frobel developed his ideas which were free self-expression, creativity, social participation and motor expression. He believed that productivity and creativity went hand in hand with how much harmony you were with, with God. He also believed that during play that it was within this time that children learn how to understand the world and the world around them. And quality time that was spent like this was such a considerable improvement to life for many of the children whose the alternative for them was to go to work with their parents and help their parents at work. So he introduced the concept of Frey Arbeit, which can be translated into free work um, during set periods of time, children were therefore allowed to do things on their own. And some adults would see this as pointless play, but Frobel saw this as a time where essential learning was taking place and it was helping to build their resilience skills and their concentration skills. And the children were introduced to a set of objects that Frobel created, um, his Frobel gifts or Spielgarber. Um, these contained 20 objects such as balls that were attached to string and blocks and sticks. Um, these, the balls were made out of wool so that they could be squished and manipulated and they could be made into different shapes, but eventually they would return back to their original form. This gift was intended to be given to very young children and the ideology behind this was that through holding and dropping, rolling, moving this object, that the children would acquire the knowledge for the object movement and also understand about contrast and how things can come back into their original form. Another one of the gifts were wooden objects such as um, cubes and cylinders and a sphere and they weren't painted or stained in any way, they were just in their natural form and the idea behind this was Throbel thought that this would help the children to observe the similarities and differences within these blocks. Some of them would move smoothly or could be rolled across the counter, whereas others would have to be picked up and placed. Um, so objects one to six were three dimensional objects that could be seen, touched, moved, transformed, and these were developed to help children um, to understand the physical world. Whereas objects seven to nine were two-dimensional objects, such as physical cubes and triangles and lines and dots that could be connected. Frobel carefully designed these toys that were given to the children in his kindergarten and they were given to the children at a very young age so that children could appreciate the common patterns and forms in nature and explore maths and science 
with these toys and this could be completely self-directed play so the children were learning on their own. His innovative ideas soon found appeal within fellow educators and many of the children that had been to the kindergarten soon developed their own kindergartens in their adulthood and um, they were learning from Frobel and they saw the immense potential that was displayed by the children in his institute 